Are you camera shy and just a little worried about showing up and showing your face? Maybe you're not quite ready to like jump full force into a YouTube channel or a, a vlog podcast type of situation, but you have a lot of information that you want to get out there and you want to share with people. You just aren't sure if you want to show your face right now. Well, I have the video for you. That's today's podcast. And I also want to welcome you to the very first episode of the Practice Your Perfect Caught podcast. And I just want to give you a little bit of a background since this is the first episode of like why we're here and what we do. And this podcast is really for fierce visionaries because you guys have a vision of what you want your business to be, what you want your life to be, right? I talk a lot about designing your life, designing your business and doing it on your own terms. And the Practice Your Perfect podcast is the place for that because really entrepreneurship, self-development, um, making money online, marketing, public relations, all the things that we talk about, starting businesses, building businesses, maintaining businesses, all of those things really come down to one thing. And what that one thing is, is practicing, right? So when we show up to practice, we are learning and we're getting feedback and we're making it better and better each time. And that's why you guys will often hear me say, start messy, just do it messy. Don't worry about, you know, how things have, you know, how they look when they first start, it's not going to be pretty. It never really is. Like even this podcast, even my setup, we're just starting. I came in here for about 25 minutes about to go on vacation. And I just wanted to record something for you guys. And, um, you just start. So anyway, for today's video, one of the things I want to start with is writing a blog as one of the five creative ways that you can, still express your message and get it out there to the world and so that people know what your business is all about without showing your face. So first one is a blog. Now I have talked about a blog many times and those of you that have gone through my Fierce Visionary course know that this is one of the things that I also will kind of share with you just to kind of say, hey, get yourself out there. If you're not ready to really show yourself on camera, um, a blog is a great way for people to be able to find your information, learn more about you and for you to be able to express, you know, your vision, express what you're doing and how you're doing it and all of those things. Um, so a blog is a great way when you are not making videos or you don't want to show your face or you just aren't feeling too hot to um, still create that content and get it out there. Because remember guys, content is really king. The more you can get out there in all the different ways, the better. So do not let showing your face be the thing that stops you. Now, number two, um, number two is all about recording yourself on zoom. And I thought I would actually just use this as a way to show you. So I'm actually currently uh, recording on zoom. I use zoom pretty much like every day for all of my meetings for everything else. But one thing that you can remember on zoom is even though you're recording on zoom and you're showing your face, you can turn off that camera and just record. And then you can just use the audio from your um, from your Zoom recording and use that for um, making like wave posts or um, uh, they call them like um, audiograms that you can put on Instagram. You can put it on your website. Uh, and it's, it's a shorter form of a podcast. Essentially, you can also use it for your podcast, which you guys will see is what I will do from this. It's part of my um, uh my content, you know, strategy is what I'm doing is I am recording on zoom and then I'm going to strip that audio and the video. And I'm going to make one video from it that I can put on YouTube. That's why I'm doing it with my face and you guys can see everything. And then I'm going to also take this audio and I'm going to put it on the, um, podcast platform so that people can listen to it that way as well. So it's a way to, one, you can do double duty and you can create your podcast and videos and then split the two. Or if you don't want to show your face, this is a perfect way to show up and get used to talking to your audience. Let them hear your voice. Let them hear the, the range in the pitches of your voice and the different tempos and the way that you speak, and which gets to know, let people get to know you a little bit better. So um, this is also a great option if you don't necessarily know how to edit, but you maybe want to work on editing and practice a little bit. You can take that audio and take out any of your pauses or ums or anything that you may not like, 
or you can just leave it all in there and let people really get to know um, kind of your speech cadence and how you would talk to them if they were with you in person. So that's a great, um, I think it's one of the best options, to be honest, um, because you do get video if you wanted to turn that into um, any reels, you want to do anything with that, you get that video if you want to use it, but you always have the decision not to use it and you can just use the audio. So there you go. That's tip number two. Now, tip number three, for those of you who love Instagram and want to be able to make those reels, but you don't necessarily want to show your face every single day, I have used this tactic and I act, I, I really do love it because it is something that does allow you to, um, create a lot of content and you are not showing your face, but you are actually, um, creating a way for people to engage with your content and get a message out there. All you do is you record yourself doing something that you would normally be doing like normal tasks. Maybe, um, you are for me, I've used this before I'm walking or I've been on vacation and I've recorded, you know, um, the ocean or something and, you know, sailboats going by or whatever it is. And then on top of that, you record your, um, you not record, you can either record your voice and you can do a voiceover if you want, or you can just write a quote on top or a messaging on top, something that will, you know, inspire or, you know, evoke some sort of engagement on top of the reel. And so it's really just a background task that you're doing. Anyway, you could be organizing, you could be cooking, you could be cleaning, you could be massaging, you could be doing your work, doing what you love and not necessarily showing your face, but just showing the task. And then on top of that task, you have an overlay of text and it talks about whatever the messaging is that you wanted to share. And that is your third way of not having to show your face because sometimes you just don't want to show up and that's okay. You don't want to show up, you know when your hair is up in a bun or you don't feel, you know, your best or whatever, or maybe it's just not a recording day, but you need to get some content out that these are great ways to still get it done, not show your face. So I get it. You guys, I've been there many times. Okay. So the next thing is to write for medium. Now I love medium because what that allows you to do is it's different from writing on your blog. They both are basically searchable mediums, like people can find you on there. However, on medium, you can get immediate feedback. It's like putting your, your work out there and then people can tell you immediately whether they like it, don't like it. If they're, you know, uh, feeling it, not feeling it, whatever, if, if something resonates with them and that's a great way to go and build more content, right. And make, um, different angles and views that might work. Um, just from hearing what your audience thinks of your content. And so that's one of the things, sorry about the sounds outside. That's one of the things that you will get from uh, creating content on different platforms um, and trying, you know, trying out different places. So like YouTube, you make a video, people might make a comment on it. It helps you determine, was that content good? What more did people want to hear from you? Um, did they engage with it? What should you add to engage with it? So there's lots of different things you can use there. Um, so write for Medium or write on your blog, but Medium is, is a way that's going to get you into a direct audience because all of those people are there. They want to read. Sometimes you don't know if your audience specifically wants to read or if they want to watch a video from you or however they'd want your information in a podcast, however, whatever they might want. So Try out different things and practice different things, test different things, experiment with different options, see what works best for you, and then start creating. Now, number five out of the five creative ways to uh, create content without showing your face is leveraging infographics and visuals that will show and tell your story in a different way. So a lot of times we use a lot of words um, you know, or we're doing video and that's the way that most people are used to getting that information, but you can actually use infographics and put those on your Instagram page or put those on your TikTok or whatever you are using to engage with your audience to express an idea or to express a, st a statistic or a reason that you want to talk about a specific subject or topic. And this is a great way to do that. So those are the five ways. And um, I hope that that really helps you get out there and promote yourself and your business without showing your face. Um, now, 
I do want you to remember that, you know, building a brand and your business is something that does take practice. It's something that you have to learn what way is most comfortable for you. I went off and I tried to uh, do just blogging and just writing. And as much as I love it to clear my mind, I don't enjoy not showing up and showing you my face and showing the expressiveness and the way that I would meet with you if we were having a one-on-one -on -one call or if we were in person. And so you have to figure out which way you best express yourself so that people can get the most from your ideas and the passion behind why you do what you do. So those are just a few ways that for some of my introverts and some of my people that still have information that they want to share, but don't necessarily want to show up on camera, which is totally fine. You don't have to build your brand on camera with your face. You can build your brand many different ways. So just to do a quick recap, we have writing a blog, making Instagram reels, um, doing Zoom audio, and I think I threw those out of order, guys, and doing infographics and then um, writing for uh, tools like Medium. So I think it's so much better than... Um, trying to force yourself to do something that doesn't work. So that's all I have for you today, Fierce Visionaries. I really hope that you guys stay fierce on your goals and keep practicing and I will see you next week. All right, thanks guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the first episode of our Practice Your Perfect podcast. I'll see you soon. Bye.